Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I think this is my first League of Legends video that I'm doing for True DFS. I think I've done others, but I, it's the first I remember in a long time, because usually I just let DFS Chan just kind of take care of everything, because he is the legit expert in all the, the intricacies of these teams and where the kill upside lies, whatever. I'm just somebody who compiles the data, compiles the projections, makes a couple of tweaks, and I do a pretty good job of, of lineup building, okay? But I want to at least uh, put something out there with my process. Um, and if it applies to this slate, great. Um, and if it doesn't, then that's fine. But this is what I do. And this is the way I use both the combination of my sheets and, and Sabersim to, to build lineups. So we're looking at the LCS slate for this afternoon. And what you're looking at here, for those of you who are not familiar with this, these are the sheets that I put together and I put up on TrueDFS, which is kind of, uh, I, I kind of access a lot of different models, a lot of different projection systems, and I tweak a little bit. And then I come up with these rankings of all of these players. And, you know, the, the, the main columns are E, the fantasy point projections. Uh, we don't really have points per dollar, all right? Uh, it doesn't, we don't really rank them that way but we do rank them by sheets value score, um, which is a combination of points, uh, which we call it points per dollar and, and general upside. And this is where you really want to look to see like who the best plays are. And then you have ownership uh, projections over here and then captain ownership over here uh, projections. Um, now, overall, I would say that the ownership projections and projections in general in league of legends is very, is very fragile to say the least. Um, ownership projections may, may be not so bad, but but actual point projections are, are really, really fragile. Um, I should say fragile. I should say they're not as important as good lineup construction. You know, you have to make sure your lineups correlate well. Um, and and, and it's, to, to come up with a median projection is very, very difficult. Um, but we do it anyway, and we have to start with some type of baseline. So well, the first thing I do is I just kind of rank these things by sheets value score. And then I just kind of see, you know, if any of these teams have guys that are all just kind of rated, you know, uh, at the top. And you'll see already that that uh, Prince from, Fl from Fly is, um, whatchamacallit, he's a top rated play by a decent amount. And, you know, as you might imagine, if you follow League of Legends, everything correlates pretty, pretty, pretty dramatically. Uh, Vikla and Spica are also uh, in there as well. So it's not going to take a genius to figure out, I guess, that that Fly is probably going to be a really, really good team to target. And then uh, Team Liquid as well. They have a bunch of guys up here also. So that's the first thing I do is just take a look at this and see what teams I'm expecting to to want to get to. Now, with League of Legends, there's another thing that I put out, which is the um, which is the uh, the, the stack sheets. Um and I put that up on the site as well. And this just basically ranks them by 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 stats, by teams. Um, and same thing, we, we are we're, we're rating them in three different ways. One is just by your raw points. That's in comms B, C, and D. Um, raw ownership. That's just a, just in pure, you know, fantasy points. Uh, then uh, you rate them by value over here. That's basically points per dollar. So if you want to see what the best point per dollar stack is, you would do this. And for a modified stack, which is a combination, this is actually rated by Sheets Value Score. Um, you would do this. And, and like I, I imagine, um, FlyQuest and Team Liquid rate to be the two best uh, teams. And as you might also imagine, uh, FlyQuest rates to be the highest owned. So the first thing that I would think about is, is Team Liquid is probably a good team to start with because while they're not the highest uh, projected, they're at least a pretty clear second, and they're getting similar ownership, if not less ownership, than uh, than GG and, and C9. So that's the first thing I would do before I even use Sabersim to build. You just kind of eyeball this stuff and see. So you can really build a, you know, and I don't really do this, but you could build a League of Legends lineup by hand pretty easily. Like this. You would take, it lists basically your, you know, the top, the top four guys. Um, uh, and you could just start a stack with 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 Eon, High Raid, uh, Piosic, and Core JJ, and that could be your four stack. And and that's not really the worst idea in the world, you know. Like so, for example, um, 
Let's go ahead. Let's 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 put a um, let's get a lineup up here just for just for fun. And then we'll do the real stuff, which is really having Saberson build because you can't. I don't think you can get away with hand building. Um, I mean, you could, but I think you need Saberson to help with uh, with MME stuff. So let's go uh, League of Legends. Where's LCS? Let's look at just the the um, the single entry here. Um, but let's look at this one. I got plenty of time, right? Nine hundred people left in this one, All right? So let's just see what we could do. Like, if you put Eon, let's see if you can get away with this. If you put Eon in the captain, like I mentioned, we're just doing TL, and then we'll go. Uh, what you would call it, Hyrie. Sorry. Actually, he's not in the top. So let's just let's just go. Um, let's just highlight the TL so we know who we're playing here. Uh, high read mid, and then Piosic, Jungle, and then uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Vikla? We don't have Vikla as. Oh, that he's on fly. Sorry about that. Uh, Core JJ as the uh, support. So you play these four, and then I wonder if you could play, you know, I. How do you how do you play the rest of this? Well, um, just let's just see if you can put the fly guys in. I really doubt it. Um, at fifty four hundred, I mean, maybe put fly quest in here. Let's just let's just start with this, and then we probably won't be able to. Yeah, that's way too expensive. So let's say you don't play fly. Is there any other three stack you can get in here? Even let's look at the next guy we rated, which was uh, which was. Uh, GG. I don't think it's going to work either. So maybe playing these four TLs are, are, are difficult. But one thing I'll, I'll try to do is instead, let's rate them by value stack, maybe. Not value stack, by um, yeah, value stack, TLGG. C9, maybe? Are they cheaper? Let's look at C9. Nah, it's not going to be able to work. So you're not going to be able to play, like, the top guys in these positions. So maybe you'd have to put the top in the captain or something like that. That's why it's very difficult to, to hand-build, at least for me. I mean, I like to use Saberson to build for League of Legends. Once I start getting into the hand-built stuff, I, I start to start to run into to walls like that. So let's go into Saberson and let's build – which is the way I would exactly do it. Um, the first thing I would do, I was upload my custom projections to um, uh, to the site, and we'll click we'll click on exclude unlisted players, and now I put my projections in um, uh, my projections in as well. So let's um, let's build some lineups. Let's build say. 30 lineups and let's use this um, uh, setting. All right. What I like to use with Saberson is I like to change the manual setting sometimes. And I've always been able to get a little success if I increase the ownership fade just a little bit. So I usually use this kind of three, six, nine approach, you know, no, no pun intended for those of you that like to play him in, uh, in league of legends. And then we'll hit, um, uh, start uh start build and the first thing we're going to look at is is how it stacks up the um what type of uh what type of um what type of lineups you'll get let's just take a look so for example under stack types 75 percent of them are four threes and then uh 20 percent of them are four twos and then single fours so the first question you have to ask ask yourself is um is how many non four threes or to what extent do you want to play non four threes? Now, if you're going to play non four threes, you really have to, in my opinion, manually check them all out because some of them just don't make, you know, too much intuitive sense. Like I'll show you some of them that might come up. So here are the four twos. Like this one makes sense, sort of, you know, you have a four, then a two, then C9 and the captain. Um, but sometimes you'll get weird ones like, like Ayla by himself in the captain. And nobody else from that team. 
And Saberson comes up with these a lot, like like one guy from the other team and the captain. So I, I don't really get to a lot of these four twos um, without having to manually check them. So what I probably just end up doing is just making them all four threes, right? So that's the first thing I do. Um, the second thing I do, it depends on which order. First, I'll check out the team stacks and then go to players. Or sometimes I'll go, go straight to, go to I'll go straight to players. But this time we'll go straight to team stacks. And it looks like, um, not surprisingly, I'm getting about, you know, most of my exposure in FlyQuest NTL. Um, uh, then I'm getting some EG, some GG. I'm getting some pretty decent spread out exposure today. But then what I have to do is I have to go into players. And the next big decision you make is when you click on captain, how much support do you want to allow in the captain position? Wow, you don't have that much of it today. So if you don't have that much of it, I'll probably just exit all out. So what I'll just go go here and put, you know, just, just X out, support in captain. Where it gets tricky is when, you know, they really like the support in captain. Then you really have to make that decision. I mean, I usually just X them out anyway. It just doesn't come in often enough for me. So now that I have no uh, support in the captain and I have the stack types the way I want, I mean, I think this is very legitimately like a build, okay? So, so what I'll do is I will just go ahead and just basically just sometimes roll with these lineups and just kind of let them fly. Um, and those just little tiny tweaks, are, along with the, the work I do with the projections, it's not a, a complete substitute for, for knowing the players, but had a lot of success with it. Now, if you really want to, you know, make some hay, you'll, you'll watch the, 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 um, the, 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 the DFS Chan video that he puts out sometimes, or you'll check out the discord and get like takes where maybe he'll come out and say that I don't know, Piosic is like bad in this particular matchup or something like that. And I'll be saying, okay, no problem. I'll take, I'll reduce my exposure there. I mean, you don't have to just rely on the projections. You know, you could just, you could, you could have your own takes as well. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, that's pretty much my process for all of it. And then, of course, going to make sure that your guys are still in. <laughs> and then sweating and, and then just uh, following along and enjoying a really, really cool um, DFS sport. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys do well today. And, uh, again, if I have time, I'll do more of these. It doesn't take too much time to do. And uh, from what I see from the Discord channel, generating a lot of interest in League of Legends and our content. So I'll keep on doing this for you guys. And hopefully I'll get Chan to put even more videos out. Uh, that will do it. Uh, good luck, everybody.